<laughs> In this video, we are going to be making some cool DIY stuff for Halloween. So get ready. Today, we are going to be talking about how you can create your own LED pumpkin with just a few materials. And believe it or not, these are actually PCBs. Yep, it's crazy, but it's true. Let me show you what we will need and then give you the step-by-step -step process to make one yourself. I'll be giving you guys complete instructions including the circuit diagram, the PCB files if you want to make a PCB and complete codes to make one yourself. My name is Sidhan and I'm super excited to teach you guys everything you need to know about home automation, robotics and other fun DIY projects using Arduino and Raspberry Pi. If you are a true fan of all these things, make sure you check out our channel. You're gonna love it. If you want more videos like this, make sure you subscribe to our channel by hitting the subscribe button right here. So let's get started. I used Altium Designer to draw the circuit and design the PCB. It is a powerful tool that can be used to design and create your own PCBs for your project as well as complex and multi-layer PCBs for industrial use. I will leave the link to Altium trial version in the description. Also, there is a 30% discount if you purchase by clicking the link below. So make use of it. And here we are in Altium Designer. Here you can see input voltage is connected to VIN pin of Arduino. The ground pin is connected to the ground pin of Arduino. And here we connect the basis of 4 transistors to 4 PWM pins of Arduino that are D3, D5, D6 and D9. And 3 LEDs are connected in series at the emitter pin of each transistors. The collector of the transistors are connected to the input voltage. So basically these 4 transistors act as switches. The next step is where we deviate from all the previous videos. Here. We will be designing a pumpkin shaped PCBs where we can securely solder the Arduino, the header pins, transistors, resistors as well as the LEDs. The first thing we need is the shape of a pumpkin. For that, you can draw a pumpkin using these tools or you can import a pumpkin shape saved as DXF file. For this project, I decided to go with the second option. I will leave the link to this DXF file in the description. You can download if you want. To import the pumpkin, go to files, import and select DXF DWG file. Browse the file and hit open. If you want, you can resize the pumpkin to fit all the components. Once the pumpkin is in the right size, we can define the board shape using this drawing. For that, go to design, board shape and define board shape from selected objects. And there we go, the board shape has been designed. Now you can arrange all the components inside this pumpkin and once you have arranged all the components, you can route it. And this is our finished PCB layout. Now you can export it as Kerber file. I ordered my PCBs from PCBWay. PCBWay is a PCB manufacturer specializing in PCB prototyping, low volume production and neat and tidy PCB assembly. And you can create a variety of PCBs with different specifications. We will look into it in a second. To order our PCBs from PCBWay, go to PCBWay website and fill in the basic board details in the instant order form. From there, we will be directed to a form where we can provide more elaborate board details. Under advanced PCBs, you can customize your PCBs. Now, update the board information in the PCB specification screen. I want to give orange color to these PCBs, so I chose orange color for the solder mask. In PCB way, we can select a variety of colors for PCBs such as purple, blue, orange, black and even create transparent PCBs by selecting transparent solder mask. Also, I chose black silk screen instead of white. So perfect. In the next screen, we should be able to upload the Gerber file and submit it for a review. Once the review is completed, all that is left to do is add to cart, make the payment and wait for the PCBs to arrive. Once you get all the components and the PCBs, it's time for you to solder them together. Solder all the components onto the board and make sure you check the polarity of the components before soldering. After soldering, the PCB looks like this. Now all you have to do is program our Arduino and connect everything together. I will provide the link to the code in the description. So here we go guys, spooky pumpkin PCBs. I will leave the link to all the resources in the description. If you have any questions, feel free to ask it in the comments down below. I wish you guys a spooky Halloween. 